Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to destroy factories using guns. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the actor slam on the dancing forward, there's your slam, there's the dump. Okay, so this is what will happen on this video. So by the time the factory opens, we will be using our M1. We will check the initial damage. For example, the refined basket has 2,396 damage, and we will continue hitting the core. After that, on the next set, we will be using skills. Yes, we will be checking the total damage inflicted by using the skill. So again, for the refined basket, we got 6,907. And after that, we will just do our best to destroy the factory. So for our fruit, oh, we got the smoke fruit. And for the list of guns that we will try or use on destroying the factory, we have the Sidium Rifle, Bazooka, Kabucha, and the Soul Guitar. Okay, so I want to start with the Sidium Rifle. So first again, for the M1, it does take damage. So 5 ticks in total. And for the damage, 3,100. Oh, by the way, everyone was asking, why no hacky on the previous videos? My answer to this is, every time you turn on your hacky, your damage will increase. What I want is just to gauge or check the damage, pure damage of the weapon used, okay? I hope that's clear. There you go. Total damage of 19,000. Next up, skill damage. So we have two skills here, the spiky bomb and the sidium smoke for a total of 7,188. And if you want to get this gun, you can get it from destroying factories with a 20% drop rate. Okay, so this gun is really good for PvP. And if you agree, please comment it on the comment section. If you're wondering guys, what fruit is good for this? Ice or dark fruit will be very good for combos including this gun. Also, both moves, Z and X skill can break observation hockey. So again guys, this just proves that this gun is really good for PvP. Okay, aside from that, it is really good for raiding because aside from the damage, it can also stun enemies. There you go, so this core is almost destroyed. Hmm, what fruit will you get? You will know in a couple of seconds. There you go. Oh, we got the door fruit. Not bad. Next up, I decided to use the bazooka. One of the best guns in the first C. Yes, you can get it from Defeating Whisper. So let's try the M1. There you go, the damage is 3,242. M1 has AoE. Given that damage, it's really good for grinding. Imagine during 5 and using 1 click. That can damage every enemy. Okay? But the problem is, it has a slow reload time. Hmm, not that good. Now let's talk about the skills. So it has 2 skills, the Alpha Wave. And the Insidiary Ammo. Oh, slow hand, sorry. One more time for the total damage. I apologize, I was not able to screenshot the total damage of two skills. But if you really want to know, the total is 4,144. And if you include the left click, you will have a total damage of 7,000. It is kind of low because, guys, M1 has a higher damage compared to ZNX skill of this gun. Yeah. So guys, when using the bazooka, don't just don't use the skills, okay? This is the upgraded version of the cannon. Again, you can just buy a cannon. The difference is the X skill has additional bullet, okay? <laughs> That's it. Plus, uh, some damage, okay? It is one of the legendary guns in Bloods Fruits, including the Kabucha and the Serpent's Bow. But the question is, can we destroy the factory? I will give you 10 seconds to comment it on the comment section if you think we can destroy the core using the bazooka, yes or no. And for everyone that will comment on whether we can destroy the core using the bazooka, I will put a like, a heart, and I will reply. So guys, do you think we can destroy it? The answer is... Sadly, no. <laughs> okay guys, so moving on, our next gun is the Kabucha. So guys, this gun has the fastest M1 in the game. But we cannot hit it so far. There you go. I think you should just go on top for the damage 1296. There you go. 
Again, for the initial damage, it is 1,269. Now for the skills. So again, we have two skills. The Flying Firebird in the Intense Wind. So for the total damage, 6,625. Okay, so let's check how much damage can this Kabucha inflict before the shield is back. There you go. 30k. Yes. How about 40k? Yes. Okay, 40. Okay, only 44k, guys. So how do you get it? Guys, you only need 1,500 fragments in the second sea. Okay, you need to head to the Yusuf Island. There you go. How do you get there? So facing the port, again the captain, just turn right. Okay, so this is very good for combo, but it does knock back, which means you need a sword that has a skill that will launch you forward. For example, the Shisui or Kandaver or the Spiky Trident. How about the fruits, gamer nom? Hmm, for the fruits, awaken dark fruit or the ice fruit. Okay. So again, question is, can we destroy the factory? Now you are about to find out. Go. It's a yes, and we got the spring fruit. Okay, moving on. For our final gun, we got the soul guitar. And to start it off, our M1, 1,691 damage. What I love with this gun is the fast reload, okay? It has really good range, and the left click has AOE damage. And you will use music to damage the enemies. Check this out. Check those notes, guys. <laughs> okay, so now let's talk about the skills. Okay, so again, this gun has two skills, the El Diablo and Soul Shaker. So guys, X skill, you need to use Shift Lock to hit this core. So as you can see, I'm using Shift Lock, X skill, there you go. And for the Z skill, you need create some distance and aim, okay? For the total damage of the skills, 9,028. So guys, let's check how much damage can we inflict before the shield returns. There you go. Okay, 14, 16, 17, 20k, 30k. Can you reach 40k? Ah, oh, no guys, 35k. For the Z skill, it has a stun. Again, it's really good for PvP. X skill can cancel observation hockeys. M1, left click, can destroy objects. And also, it can be used to damage sea beasts. So it really has lots of uses. So guys, do you think, after hearing all those words, what is the best gun in the game? Sadly, I made lots of mistakes on using the Z and X skill. So I kind of used the death step once, just once, guys, to increase the damage inflicted. There you go. I just don't want to end this video by not destroying the factory. But guys, we can destroy it using the soul guitar, but you need to practice, okay? So guys, there you go. What fruit will we get? Oh, we get the diamond fruit. Okay guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. Legendary Swords next. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out.